Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. We have standing abs Pilates class today. It's a little different than the traditional on the mat abdominal exercises. Obviously, you do not need a mat, just you yourself and the floor and you can do this anywhere. All right, we're gonna start the class going through the diaphragmatic breathing with a transverse abdominal contraction and then we're going to go through the lateral breathing as well. So I'm going to come forward towards the camera because you can see what's happening in the abdominal here. So I want you to stand with the heels underneath you, standing with a nice tall position. I want you to place the heel of your palm on the hip bones and the fingers, the four fingers towards the pubic bone and the thumb just join together like a triangle stand here. Now we inhale from the nose, we exhale from the mouth. Now as we inhale, Thinking about expanding the rib cage and also filling up your lungs so the diaphragm can descend down and expanding the belly into your hands. Naturally, holistically. And then as we exhale, the belly will retract away from your hands and then you're going to deliberately pull in a little dip deeper, drawing the waistline into your center like as if you're wearing a tight corset. So you do have that natural corset muscle called the transverse abdominals, which is the deepest abdominal muscle you have. And we inhale, expanding the belly into your hands, naturally, not pushing out, just naturally expanding it out. And then exhale, the belly will pull away from your hands and then you're gonna contract a little deeper, a little tighter, with a little bit more effort in towards the spine. Again, in breath, so this is your diaphragmatic breathing with a TVA, transverse abdominus contraction. Exhale, drawing in, wrapping the waistline into your center, the pubic bone to your belly button and lengthen the rib cage down to the belly button as well. Two more times. One last one. Now I want you to hold that TVA contraction here. We move on to the lateral breathing. The abdominal stays in. Now I want you to place your hands on the side of the rib cage. This time as you inhale, the belly doesn't expand, but your rib cage expands sideways as much as you can. And exhale, the rib cage retract back in and maybe you can get a deeper connection abdominal. We're going to inhale, expand the rib cage again. Without losing this. And exhale. The rib cage comes into a center. Inhale, the rib cage expand. Abs still connected, still busy here. Exhale. Three more times. There's no expanding here or minimize expansion. Exhale. There's a lot of work happening here. Two more. One last. And let it go. All right, awesome. So those are the two different abdominal workout. So we got the diaphragmatic breathing with the TVA contraction and the other one's the lateral breathing when your TVA is already on and they're gonna work on the lateral expansion of the rib cage because your diaphragm is refrained from drawing down or stretching down as you inhale as it's supposed to do holistically. Okay, now let's go. Let's have the heels again in line with the sitting bone. Arms out to the side, let's take a left arm up to the sky. We still have that corset muscle wrapping our center here, lifting up and side stretch over to your right without swaying yourself away. Keep the pelvis over your feet and then bring yourself up, arm out to the T position, right arm comes up, press the left arm into your thigh, reaching out here and side bend over. Again, keep the pelvis over with the feet. We're not swaying out to the side here. 
bring yourself up again. One more time, lifting up, reaching out and side bend over. Press the feet down so you can go a little bit further, perhaps. Now stay here, contract the upper abdominal. We're gonna flex the upper body forward, maintain the pelvis, and we're gonna curl down, look down to the floor and stay here. Reach the arm away from your spine, pull the belly into your spine so you feel a stretch in the back of the lower left, lower back, and then come back facing me, upright. Open the arms, other arm comes up, lengthen it away, side bend we go, and hold that, guard the feet down, plant the feet down so you can lengthen up off the floor, and then contract the rib cage, contract the lower abdominal, and we're gonna rotate forward. Your gaze is down to the floor. We're gonna pull back in the abdominal as we reach the arm away from your center, and we're gonna stretch the back of your right spine and then come back face me there we go hands on your shoulder soften the knees a little bit make sure the knees are tracking over your feet and they're not curling in or outward now from here guard your center here rotate over to your right stay let's do three lateral breathing the abs stays in inhale exhale maybe we can go a little bit further hold the pelvis in breath Exhale, I want you to again guard the feet down. Perhaps as you rotate to your right, press your left foot down, your right foot down actually, so you can rotate the pelvis in the opposite direction to neutralize the twist. In breath. Exhale, come back to center. Rotate over to your left here. Now guard your left foot down, push it down. In breath, three lateral breathing. Exhale, you can twist a little bit further. Press the left foot down, in breath. Exhale, one more. Come back to center, one more set. Over to your right, press the right foot down, inhale, hold. Exhale, in breath. One more. We work in the obliques here. Last one, over to your left, press the left foot down, and Hold the belly in, expand the ribcage sideways. Last one, and back to center. Let go of the arm and stretch the legs away. Now let's place the hands on the ribcage here. Again, we're gonna soften the knees down. Now here we're gonna go into a little pelvic curl. So we're gonna use the abdominal, not to go pushing, but we're gonna try to get the abdominal in. So then we can curl the pelvis underneath you and the glute muscle gonna kick in last minute Lee, and we're gonna release and extend the pelvis back. We're gonna pull in the center. We're gonna round the tailbone under. There is a, sl there is a scooping sensation in the front of the abdominal and release, extend the pelvis back. And abs will go in to curl the pelvis under and release and keep the tibia on and extend the pelvis out. Again, abs pull in to curl the pelvis under, lengthen the pelvis, the tibia muscle still on, extend back one more time. Abs curling the pelvis, release and arch the pelvis back and come back to your neutral pelvis and stay here. Now we're gonna sway sideways. Press your right foot down and we're gonna sway the hip to your right and back to center. Press the left foot down, sway to the left and come back. The rib cage ideal is to stay nice and quiet over the feet and center. And press the left foot, sway out and center. Press the left foot, the right foot, sorry, sway to your right, and center, and other side, and center, and sway, and center, and sway. So we're thinking about like a gliding, like a travel later, sideway, and sideway. One which side, side. Last one, and now we're gonna combine everything. We're gonna use the abdominal, curl the pelvis over to your right, sway, extend the back to your left and then forward and side, back, 
to the left and curl under. And let's just make it nice and smooth here. Again, trying to keep the rib cage nice and quiet here. We're really just moving this area, mobilizing the pelvis, mobilizing the lumbar spine and the hip joint. We go one more this direction and then we reverse. Abs curl the pelvis under, over to your left, stick out the bum bum, and over to your right, and come back. And again, you can try to make this nice and juicy, nice and smooth. And if you find any spot that feels a little sticky for you, perhaps you can spend a little bit more moment and try to get that stickiness out of you. Maybe you don't get it today, but eventually. Once you rip with this class, a few more go. And one more, and back to center and let's go and straighten the leg up. Okay, now from here, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna fold the pelvis forward. All right, fold the pelvis forward here and then place your hands on your thigh. Take an in breath. Exhale, what I want you to do is again, wrap up that TVA muscle, pull it in and pull the abdominal wall towards the spine. We are not rounding the back, we're keeping the line of the spine. Inhale, relax it down. Exhale, we're gonna pull that TVA. We'll pull the abdominal muscle towards the spine. And in breath, one more. Exhale, we're gonna pull it in. And then we're gonna keep it there for me, please. Now from here, we're gonna take the arms forward, transfer your weight to your left foot, lift the right heel up. I'm going to stretch the leg behind you. Your abs are still working here. And then we're going to lift up. Lift up. So balance your center. Your TVA still switch on here. So you've got that corset wrapping around your waistline. Keep the neck long. Give me five more here. Four. Three. Two. One. And then stop the foot in. Lower down, transfer you to the other foot. And then lift the heel up as the heel up. Guard the tibia in, stretch the leg away, and we'll lift. Again, do not let that belly hang down to the floor because you can end up swaying and moving the lower back too much. Pull in, we're gonna move the leg up from the hip joint. Stabilize the center and wear that corset tightly for me, please. Five more, four. Three, two, one, and bring the leg in, both down on both feet on the floor, and come and stand up. Now from here, a little bend, and then the arms come forward, the body's upright, and stretch out. And we go bend, and still wearing that corset, two more bend, and Last one, we stay here. What we're going to do into our C curve. Now I want you to pull back in the abdominal, pull forward with the arms. So maintain that beautiful long C curve here and stay. Lift the right heel up. Now balance with the right foot, left foot. And we're gonna take the right leg up and lift. And three, keep that C curl, meaning the abdomen is pulling back. And two more. Last one, we stay whole. Extend the leg. We bend. Extend. We bend. As we can pull the belly a little deeper away from the leg. We feel the opposition reaching out away from each other. Three more. Two more. One more. Bring it in, bring it down, straighten the back, lift up, bring the arms behind you, extend the back, arch up, arms up to the sky, and forward one more time. Arms behind you, expand the ribs up, chest up, and we'll bring it down. We've got the other leg to do. So we go, bending the knee, arms forward. We're gonna pull back in the abdominals, there. And we're going to lift the heel up and then balance, we lift and lift, lift, keep the neck long and three more, two, three, 
to one we stay we extend as we pull back and we fall we extend and fall contract the abs and fall three more two one bring it in bring it down lifting the back upright standing up tall beautiful work okay back to me again here we're gonna bend the knees here we're gonna go over to your right side extend the left leg long we're gonna lean over we're gonna work on the obliques here lean over so in one straight line from the crown of the head to your foot bottom hand here top arm in line with the shoulder side bend over exhale reach side bend over as far as you can before you lose that balance and reach long and side bend over and reach if you want to be more challenged both hands behind the head and reach and three more reach and two more last one we stay here contract this oblique we lift the leg and two and three, keep the supporting leg bent. Four, find your balance. Five, three more. Six, seven, and eight. Bring it down and then bring it in upright. Let it go. We've got the other leg to do. Bend the knees. Lengthen the leg away. Reach diagonally here. Hand, arm. And we go down and reach and down and reach we want to keep this leg active reaching away as you bring yourself over to the opposite direction and now if you want to be more challenged you can have your hands here like you did before if you have the hem out keep them out and three more two last one we stay Lift the leg. Two, three, four, five, three more. Don't lose that balance. I was about to lose mine. And last, bring it down, bring it in. Okay, lift it up, shake your leg a little bit more. All right, we're gonna go again, hands here. We're gonna bend the knee. Lean body forward, hands here. Now this time, we're gonna pull into that C curve that you just had before. Now, transfer your weight to the left foot. Right heel comes up, hands stacked up on the right knee. Lift the foot. This is our scooter here, pulling up in the center. And we're gonna inhale, exhale. I translated this movement from every former exercise. Out, exhale. Exhale, pull in the center to pull the leg in and press the armpit down. Three more, two more, last one. Pull, 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 lift up tall, balance. We arms forward, we open the leg out to the side and we take the arm and the leg forward and open the leg out to the side. A great way to really challenge your proprioception and the balance. Two more, out, and one more, out. In, 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 and lower it down. We've got the other leg to do. So we go, fall forward, hands on the thigh, pull back, pull back, and then lift the left heel up, hands on the left thigh, lifting up, Pressing down as you pull into your center and we in breath, reach up, reach up, checking that your supporting leg is still parallel, that we're not turning the foot out or try to get to a parallel position and three, two, one, bring it in, lift up, arm forward, ta-da. Balance. We open. Upright and together. We open and exhale. 
The key to finding your balance is to press that foot down and energize your whole body to reach out of the floor. We're not hanging back in any joint, but we're lifting upward. And then you're gonna automatically switch on that beautiful core powerhouse you've got. And one more, we've done two many on this side, and we'll bring it down, shake the leg out. Okay, nice and tall, still heel anchoring down, press the arms back, and then we're gonna take our chest into a high release and extension, make sure you don't break the neck, only to support the neck here. And then return, press the arms back, and we're gonna arch the upper back, the neck is supported, the arms are reaching back and center. Two more, press, press the feet down and grow away from the floor, grow tall, grow tall. And last one, press and stay. Now, push your arms back for five, four, gaze to the sky, lengthen the neck, three, two, one, and bring it up right. Interlace the hands behind you. Push down with the arm and extend the back again. Fall forward at the hip. You can soften the knee here. And then we're gonna bring our body down to the floor. So folding. And then here we're gonna roll up. Curl your tailbone under. Press the arm down as you roll the spine up. Lifting the spine and high release. Two more time. Forward fall at the hips and down to the leg. You can bring the arm over to the other side, curling the tail under, softening the knee. Press the arm down to help yourself roll up. Press down and extend the chest one more time. Forward fall. This is our last one to make. Get the best one yet. Folding over and then curling the tail down, pressing the hands down, rolling up the spine, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, arching up, and upright, and let it go. Shake your shoulder, shake your body, shake your hip. Good job. I'm so happy to see you moving with me today. Well done. I will see you back on the floor or on the mat tomorrow. So have a lovely day. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong, and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.